state of emergency has been declared in Suo. Civilians should evacuate to shelters immediately. What's going on? There aren't any soldiers. No, they're just hiding. This whole area is surrounded by the National Defense Forces. They're waiting to ambush the rebels. But something isn't right. They're definitely planning something. Even if it's a trap, all we can do is go straight in. Let's head to the OSF headquarters. Someone's coming this way. Is that... Hey, Yuito. I missed you. Nagi? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? <laughs> Just hanging out, you know? I'm here to clean the rebel filth out from the great new Himuka! Is it new Himuka's plan to make us fight Nagi? I won't do it. We don't need to fight. Nagi, run away with us. We'll find a way to undo the personality rehabilitation. If they can just change you like that, there must be a way to change you back. What? I can't go now. The fun's about to start. I'm gonna kill you and rip out your brain! Brain? Maybe he's ordered to get Yuito's brain. What? Hey, Yuito. We're friends. You'd do me a favor, wouldn't you? Give me your brain! <laughs> He's so strong. This isn't just personality rehabilitation. He's received some kind of power enhancement. Damn! Why? Why is this happening? Do we have to fight? Feel free to stand there if you don't want to fight me! I'm gonna cut off that ugly head of yours in- <clears throat> Damn! Damn! Why? Why won't you just die, Yuito? Stop it! There's no reason for us to fight! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'll kill you! I must! Have your brain! What's wrong? Uh, no! Shut up! Don't tell me what to do! Stop! Stop! Yuito! <laughs> Nagi! What is this? Why... am I...? <sighs> Nagi's brain... this is horrible! Yuito! You can't move him! Wake up! Uh, Yuito... I... Uh... Nagi... you... are you... yourself? Sorry... I didn't know what was happening. The voice said I had to kill you. Don't apologize. It's not your fault. It was all the people who did this to you. I didn't want to fight you. I tried to resist, but it hurt so much. They told me to kill you. That they'd kill me if I didn't. I was so scared. So I couldn't stop. There was nothing else I could do. Every time he resisted, they sent him to personality rehabilitation. How can they be so cruel? I'm fine, so don't be so hard on yourself. You don't have to be afraid of their threats anymore. I'll fight with you. <laughs> Yuito, you're so... How did this happen? We were always together. Ever since we were cadets, we were finally OSF. In Seto Platoon, I thought 
we could still goof off together. I... I have to apologize to Captain Seto, but it's too late. <laughs> I thought that when I died, it would be more heroic, you know? Going out in a blaze of glory, fighting another. Look at me. I'm no hero. Tell me. How did I... How did I... mess everything up so bad? Hey, Yuito. If... I was going to die either way. What? What should I have done differently, huh? <laughs> uh, Haki. Oh. Haki. <laughs> You weren't wrong, Nagi. It was the country that did this to you. They're the ones to blame. When I didn't know what to do, you were the one who suggested we join the OSF. I said I wanted to save people, but I couldn't even protect you. I'm sorry. I will avenge you. That's a promise I can keep. Yuito? I'm fine. I hate just leaving him there. Yeah. We'll take care of him later. We have to go see my brother. He's a government official. He probably had something to do with Nagi waiting here to ambush us. No way. You think Kaito would use Nagi to get at you? I don't know. Either way, we have to meet. The National Defense Forces are surrounding the path to OSF Headquarters. They haven't given up on capturing the traitors. They're probably no match for you, but be careful. Oh, and Yuito? Take it easy. Thanks, Wataru. All right, let's head to OSF Headquarters. We haven't run into any interference since we got to Headquarters. They must have ordered everyone out. The only person in that room is... Chief Sumeragi. So, he's waiting for me. Just like I thought. It'll be difficult supporting you going forward. Do your best talking to the Chief. You mean, the network's going to get cut off? No. I'll tell you why later. Just do your best. Got it. Will do. Everyone ready? Here we go. Kaito. I figured you'd come by. Yuito? I wanted to talk to the new Himuka government about Seiron, so here I am. I figured since you're with the government, you'd listen to me. Your safety has been assured for that purpose. I assume you want me to remove your status as a rebel? Before we get into that, Kaito, there's something I need to ask you. Was it you that sent Nagi after me? What if it was? <clears throat> How could... Unfortunately, he failed. We gave him so many enhancements, yet he was still a failure. Don't say that about Nagi! Yuito, I know how you feel, but... It is awful, but you must hold yourself back. Why, Kaito? Why did you do that? What did Nagi ever do? 
He knew about the secret of metamorphosis, so he was rehabilitated. I'm sure you know all about that. He was the perfect subject for testing power enhancement on an OSF soldier. Also, he was exactly what we needed to tame you. That power of yours. New Himuka needs the special gravikinesis power you have. I thought you'd be open to the idea if we used your friend, but you really are irritating. You did all of that to Nagi just to get my power? I wouldn't have needed to do this if you had just done what the government wanted. If you had come to me as soon as you were branded a rebel, I could have taken care of it. You've always been like this. You do whatever you want without listening to my advice. You don't act at all like a Sumeragi. That's why father never told you. Tell me what? That it's our destiny to fulfill the wishes of Yakumo Sumeragi. Wishes? It doesn't matter. You don't need to know. Does it have something to do with the moon? Yakumo Sumeragi was one of the first colonists from the moon. Where did you learn that? In Togetsu. We went to Togetsu and found a lot of information that New Himuka is hiding. You went to Togetsu? So that's where you disappeared to. I already told you I want to talk. If we don't stop Togetsu, New Himuka will... There isn't a single piece of information that comes out of Togetsu worth trusting. Don't tell me you've been brainwashed. Who are you calling brainwashed? We looked into what we learned in Togetsu, and we think we can trust it. Silence! You were just seduced by them without knowing Yakumo Sumeragi's noble purpose. I'll teach you some real history. We were sent to Earth, our motherland in order to reduce the human population on the moon. Not only that, they created the Extinction Belt and sealed the colonists on Earth. What? The Extinction Belt was created by the people on the moon? Now you see just how diabolical the moon is. After much hardship, Yakumo Sumeragi created New Himuka and came to a decision that someday we would destroy the Extinction Belt and attack the moon. We inherited Yakumo Sumeragi's will, and we must exact our revenge on the moon. Revenge? That's what Yakumo wanted? Yes. It is our destiny to fulfill the Founding Father's wishes. It is that very reason Nuhimuka exists. Now you see what it is you must do, what your duty is as a descendant of Yakumo. If we use your gravikinesis, we can move the extinction belt. The time has come to open the path to the moon and get our revenge. I don't have that kind of power. It's possible if you connect to all the citizens through SAS. Even if it's just a normal person's brain with thousands, tens of thousands connected together, your brain functions will expand exponentially. By connecting so many psionics, New Himuka's military strength will increase rapidly. Connecting civilians to SAS? Ridiculous! Only psionics can endure that kind of pain. Whether or not they can endure it is of no importance. The only thing we need are their brains. Actually, it would be best to eliminate their pesky personalities. And personality rehabilitation technology makes that easy. Stop it! People aren't a means to an end, and neither am I. Kaito, it's stupid to get revenge for a 2,000-year-old grudge. I think what the people from the moon did was wrong, too. They made the extinction belt. But do you really think it's right to force civilians into this? That is the will of Yakumo Sumeragi. Yakumo this, Yakumo that. He died a long time ago. Yakumo Sumeragi is alive. What are you... He is asleep, deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge. Are you referring to cold sleep? Just like Kagura. I was shocked as well when our father first told me. And it was at that same time I realized the destiny that awaits. Grow up. 
There's so much you need to understand about what it means to be a Sumeragi. Destiny? Who cares? Because it's a 2,000 year old tradition? Because I'm a Sumeragi? That's just an excuse to stop yourself from thinking about it. I'll never be like you. I want to find the truth, evaluate it, and decide for myself. You'll lose the honor of our family name. I don't care. With or without the Sumeragi name, I'm still me. What? Yuito. You. I didn't think you would be so unreasonable. I suppose all I can do is force you to cooperate. I was hoping you'd listen to me, but I guess that's out of the question. Sorry, but I don't plan on getting caught now. You are betraying our father! I know I am. But I think Dad would understand. I have something important to tell you. Can you get to the safe zone? Tell me what? <sighs> All right, let's just get out of here. There is no one around here. What do you want to tell him, Wataru? Shouldn't we get out of Suo and rethink our plans for now? No, I want to tell you right away. Everything the Chief just said? I was able to use the system to record the video and audio for all of it. What? Didn't you say that recording was prohibited? There are ways to get around that. It does, in fact, take a certain amount of skill, though. That's so dangerous. If you got caught, personality rehabilitation would be the least of your worries. We were all in danger, and I covered my trail. But, yeah, it was risky, so there won't be a second time. Oh, so you said you couldn't support us because you were focusing on that. You recorded the conversation with my brother. You're thinking about the keycard Fubuki gave you. If we access Arahabaki, we can send the data to everyone in New Himuka. Yeah, that's right. We can complete Major General Fubuki's mission. Then my brother... and father's name will be dragged through the dirt. Yuito... I know your family's involved, but you're not responsible for the things they've done. I respect my commander's decision, and I'm ready to take on this burden with you. We're a team. We know you have some hard decisions to make, but we all feel the same as Gemma. Allow us to help carry the burden. Thanks, guys. Honestly, I'm not sure if destroying what my father and brother built is the right thing to do. But now I know the truth, so I have to act. I know this is something I need to do. Let's go to Arahabaki. We're telling everyone what my brother and Nuhimuka have been hiding. All right, let's make this happen. That's it then. I pulled up a route to Arahabaki for you. Major General Fubuki sent me the data earlier. Thanks, Wataru. For that, and the video. I knew we could count on our operator. <laughs> Just doing my job. Okay, I've sent you the location data. Let's head there right now. I hope the keycard we got from Major General Fubuki gets us through. 
Are we inside Arahabaki? This feels different than the place we visited on that field trip. I don't recognize it at all. It's installed below Suo. It goes down pretty far, but only the upper levels are open to the public. I believe this is the secure site where they control it. Fubuki was only allowed restricted access, so we don't know much. We should be able to access it from somewhere around here. It doesn't look like there's anyone suspicious around. But I do see that it's softly big in there. Got it. Tell me when you see something. First, let's look for an access terminal. Kaito wouldn't even listen to us about stopping the war with Seiran. It seemed like he stopped listening as soon as he heard Sogetsu was involved. He was shocked. He didn't think you'd turn against him. Yeah. I was surprised too. But I'm glad I said what I wanted to. You didn't have many opportunities to speak frankly with the chief? <laughs> Not at all. We've never been close. My brother has always followed in our father's footsteps, unlike me. I think my brother just did what he thought was right. I still can't forgive him, though. Just because you're brothers doesn't necessarily mean you understand each other. There was a lot I didn't get about my brother. Former Major General Karin seems like he's a bigger problem than my brother. <laughs> Us younger brothers have it hard. <laughs> we do. Something's coming at 10 o'clock. Is that... another? What? People use this place. What's an other doing here? I see it too. Did someone realize you were there and lure it in? Maybe... No. There's no point thinking about that. We just have to be careful. Is that the Arahabaki access terminal? Yuito, did you... Image... Set... Wataru? Signal... Bad... So... They might have blocked outside signals to prevent any interference. Is the video file... all right? We've come all this way and now no signal? Oh, you've got to be joking. There. Got it. Nice. Looks like it just came through. Now we just need to connect to Arahabaki and send it. Looks like another seated terminal. Should I use the access terminal? No. Let me do it. I want to do this myself. Alright. But be careful. Looks like you connected fine. It looks just like the OSF system. I should be able to upload the video data. Now to send this to the minds of every citizen. Arahabaki can forcibly access and broadcast to all citizens at once. Now this data, the truth, will be seen by everyone. Man, woman, young and old alike. We don't know how everyone will react to it. We should expect the truth will probably hurt a lot of people. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure there will be people angry that I told them something they didn't want to know. Still, I want to ask everyone how they feel after knowing the truth. Dad. Kaito. I'm sorry, but this is the path I choose. Yakumo Sumeragi's will, and we must exact our revenge on the moon. I wonder if it worked. It doesn't look like any data was sent to us. Signals are blocked here. Oh, right. The display says it's sending, though. If every new Himuka citizen is seeing this, I'm sure there's a big fuss out there. I'm sure the government is in chaos, too. They'll probably try to protect themselves first. There's likely a lot of disturbance among the soldiers as well. Fighting Seiron must seem pointless now. 
If the fighting between New Himuka and Seiron stops, that's one hurdle cleared. This video is a catalyst. I can't imagine how New Himuka will change. Our next task at hand is to figure out how to stop Togetsu. Let's assess the situation and then make our next plan. I think we should go outside first. Right. Others might show up too. Let's get out of here. Don't move a muscle. You wait, Toe! Get out of my way. Major General? Karin, why are you here? Are you still trying to copy Yuito's power? The surprise attack didn't work. You don't have much of a chance. I could reduce you all to ash in an instant if I wanted to. If what you need is Yuito's power, then you can't damage his brain. So what? Maybe I'll crush his limbs one by one. Yuito, give me your power if you want to remain whole. Why are you after my power? I don't need to explain myself to you. He can't be after my psychokinesis. He must know my real power. You came all this way just to take it. You must be up to something. As long as you don't tell me what that is, I'll have to fight you. You're wasting my time. You'll regret not obeying me immediately. Don't waste me. He's so strong. The number of powers he can use is incredible. You're more tenacious than I thought. I've been around a little. I'm used to fighting now. It's true that you can use many powers, Karin. But you only have one brain. You won't be able to keep up against so many. Things will not go your way for long. Just stop this! I don't want to fight anymore! Who do you think you are? You haven't won yet. Choose your words carefully. There's no way that you can defeat me. This place is my domain. What? Am I being invaded? What's going on? My body... Uh, I can't use my power. This cable... Uh, did it come from Arahabaki? Looks like I'm in. Karin, what are you doing? My head! What is this? I feel like... I know this. It's just like when my power resonated with Kasane's at the Kunad Highway. Yuito, what's wrong? Has his brain been... Eaten away, to the point where he can't talk? Is Arahabaki controlling me? I can feel someone, but who is it? My power is activating on its own. Damn, this isn't good. I can't stop it. Could this possibly be what he's after? All right. Let's try this again. He's gone. He must have teleported. No, that was... He came here to travel through time. Yuito, are you okay? 
What is this place? I... Uh, what was I doing? What's going on? Who are you? Hello? Hold on. Who... am I? I don't... <sighs> I don't remember. What is... this? I'm sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. You have to live. No matter what. Such comfort. 
I'm so glad to have it back. all that just now a dream must have been an hobby <sighs> here we go welcome back <clears throat> kasane and everyone why are you here You're alive! You're alive! <laughs> hey, Hanabi! Calm down! What's going on? Honestly, I'm fine! <sighs> Are you okay? Do you have a headache or feel nauseous? I think I'm fine. What happened? Do you remember being attacked by my brother? Yeah. Then Arahabaki invaded my mind, and I was forced to use my power. What happened after that? There was a large earthquake, and my brother disappeared at the same time you collapsed. You were holding your head and looked like you were in a lot of pain. We didn't know what to do. Then Kasane Platoon got here. It was really bad when we got here. Sugumi was white as a ghost, and Hanabi was holding you and crying. Gemma and Luca both looked so pale. We were afraid you might have died. So that's what happened. But why did you come here? Karin copied my power, then went teleporting after you. It looks to me like you needed both of our powers. Our powers? The red strings. Yes. I didn't know what he was after, but I knew I had to warn you. We couldn't send signals into Arahabaki, so we came running. Wataru helped us too. You had almost lost your mind and your memory. You were in a lot of danger. I had a dream that I was slowly disappearing. I guess it was real. But then Kasane had an idea. She thought she could use our memories to reconstruct yours. Reconstruct? We tried to form you from memories we shared when connected by the SAS, and experiences we had together. We all connected our SAS cables, and sent our memories into you, as data. Memories change based on whose they are. Mixing together multiple people's memories was as dangerous as personality rehabilitation. It was honestly a gamble, but thanks to everyone working together, you miraculously woke up. I'm glad you're back. So, I could have lost everything. Which means... the memories I have now are the connections you made for me. Thanks. Your head really doesn't hurt? Is there anything you can't remember? I have my memories, and my body feels fine. If you have your memories, does that mean you have old memories as well? Even memories from before meeting us? What? Yeah, I do. Although, it's kind of strange that I'd have old memories if they all had to come from you guys. So, does that mean we were able to restore the memories beyond our own? Or is it simply luck that they weren't erased? Wait, when we all connected through the SAS, it felt like there was a transmission from an external server. Were you storing your past memories on one? No. Why would I do that? What do you even mean? I see. And what was that? I have a feeling it was something to do with Yuito's restored old memories. 
It doesn't make sense that he has all his old memories back if all we did was give him ours. There is a lot to think about, but I believe it's time we leave. It's dangerous to stay here. You're right. Can you move, Yuito? Yeah, I'm okay. Kasane, you're all coming too? Yes. We have no business with our Habaki. I'm glad you're okay. Now let's get out of here. A mandatory curfew is in effect. All citizens, please remain in your homes. Do not be deceived by unverified information. Unverified information, my ass! You can't trick us anymore! Everyone, please calm down. Do not leave your domiciles without permission. The government was tricking us! Who's going to believe you now? There's more confusion than I thought. People were already on edge after Seiron's rebellion. Their reaction is completely warranted after being shown a video like that. Nagi's not here. Maybe the National Defense Forces took him. I'll have Wataru check later. I'm assuming you all saw the video as well? Yeah, we did. A lot of it was information we learned in Togetsu, but it carried more weight coming from the Chief. We used our Habaki knowing this would happen. I don't regret anything I've done. But to live with what we did, we need to change New Himuka. Someone is coming. An enemy? What? I don't believe it. Good. Finally. I've been looking for you. Major General Fubuki! I've been worried about you. We haven't seen each other since the old OSF hospital. Karin saved me at the last second. Next thing I noticed, Seiron had taken me in. Seiron? I'm glad you're alive, but it looks like you're hurt. Are you okay? Nothing to worry about. More importantly, there's something I need to tell you, Ito. Me? Togetsu has sent people after you. We managed to drive them off because we noticed their movements early enough. But there could be more next time. I want you to be careful. Wait, the whole Togetsu detachment? You took them out by yourself? I just talked. It was the Seiron forces that did the actual fighting. You got Seiron to take action? You act like that's not even a big deal. Just how in the world did you manage to even do that? I was afraid they'd not only be after Kasane, but Yuito as well. Anyway, we're finally together again. I'm sure we all have a lot to discuss, so why don't we go back to the hideout? Are you even in any condition to walk? You look pretty haggard. Perhaps I'm a little sleep deprived, but rest is not exactly an option right now. We should get somewhere safe. And... Major General! Are you okay? Don't cause a scene or you'll gather attention. He needs to rest, so let's go to my platoon's hideout for now. So this is where your hideout is. It looks like the same type of unit as our hideout. The make is identical. How is the Major General? I gave him first aid. The sedative seems to have worked, so he is resting. Looks like he overused his power. You could see the exhaustion in his face. We should let him rest. Don't worry, he's not in any real danger. He's a lot tougher than he looks. <sighs> That's good. I guess we need to wait to talk to him. So, are you guys okay sharing this hideout with everyone? It's going to be a little crowded. That would be convenient. We should sort our belongings then. Kagero, what are you going to do about Yuito? I think it's probably best we decide on something. <sighs> oh, you're going to bring that up. I guess that makes sense. I promise you I'm giving it some thought. Just give me a little more time. <sighs> um... 
Do you think we can talk for a minute, Kasane? Sure. What is it? I just wanted to say thank you. I owe you my life. You owe me your life? I don't know what you mean. <sighs> She's just as blunt as always. You know, I actually kind of missed that about her. Oh, you know, at Arahabaki. You saved me when I almost lost my memory. Oh, actually, it wasn't just me that saved you. It was Hanabi and all of us. I'm grateful to everyone, but the only reason everyone was there in the first place was because you brought them. If even one of them hadn't been, my memory might not be complete. So, I appreciate your help. Thank you. All right, I accept your thanks. <laughs> yeah, it means a lot. You know, it's kind of weird just talking normally like this. Talking normally is weird? I mean, we were enemies for a while, and now we're fighting together. Life sure is full of strange, unexpected things. Sometimes, I think that the fact that two people exist with the same power, in the same time, at the same place, might mean it's fate. You can go ahead and interpret it however you want, but I don't believe in fate. <laughs> That's the Kasane I know. I guess it is kind of an exaggeration. Well, I would say it's more illogical than an exaggeration. We're only here because we chose to be. Whenever I hear the word fate, it just sounds like something given to us. Oh, that's not really what I meant, but I see how it could sound like that. When I think of fate, I think of something from a past life, or like there's a strange power at work. But yeah, I just don't feel like I entirely chose this. What do you mean? Fate does seem like something being forced on us, but we meet and part with so many people all the time. All of that put together makes me who I am now. Like, my ability to choose is thanks to everyone. If that's what you mean, I feel the same. If I were by myself, I wouldn't have been able to choose this path. I haven't told you yet, have I? That my sister Naomi is dead. What? She... What happened? She saved me when we were fighting Togetsu. She always saved me, every time right to the end. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't have been there to help. I didn't know when... It's nothing for you to worry about. I just thought of it while we were talking. The fact that I'm here and fighting alongside you is thanks to her. It is? My first impression of you was... He's not worth my time. If my sister didn't focus on you, I probably would have forgotten all about you the next day. <laughs> Damn, that's a pretty bad impression. What do you mean by Naomi focusing on me? Well, my sister... She really liked you. Oh. I'm flattered. I wish I had gotten to know her better. I'm sure knowing that would have made her really happy. It's hard when someone dies. Since I've joined OSF, I've lost so many people. It's shocking at first, but it really starts to sink in later. I'll never get to see or talk to them again. Before, I could always just use brain talk to see and talk to them whenever I wanted. Even so, the time you spent together wasn't for nothing. You can remember them whenever you want. We can't let it be for nothing. You said so yourself. The people we meet and the relationships we build, that's what makes us who we are. You're right. I guess we just have to keep on living, embracing the memories of those who've passed. I'm really glad I didn't lose my memory. Thanks again. I'm glad we talked. I feel better too. We should have another talk like this soon. We're back on the same team again. As long as it has some meaning, sure. I don't really like small talk. <laughs> That's fair enough. Looks like you're still you. I sure I'm glad we're working together again. Yes, me too. Kasane and I really haven't changed all that much. But now we can tell each other what we really think.
Hey, I take back what I said. Arashi told me that calling someone a good person isn't always a compliment. Hmm. I think it's usually used as a compliment. Well, at least that's how I interpreted it. Oh. That's good then. Words are complicated. Thank you for taking mine at face value. Yuito, do you have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Did something happen? You look serious. I got a message from my uncle. You mean the OSF hospital's chairman? Can you tell me what it was about? Yeah, but be ready. You won't like it. He said, It seems you've learned a lot about the hospital recently, but you don't need to get involved. If you consider yourself a part of the Ichijo family, then keep your mouth shut. He's clearly threatening you. Yeah. I was shocked. But beyond that, I'm just so frustrated. We worked hard to uncover the government's secret, but they're still able to get away with it. We managed to expose so much to the public, but the top brass are trying to save themselves by eliminating the evidence. They can't go unpunished for what they did. Isn't there anything we can do? Are you sure, though? I mean, no matter what they did, they're still your family. Isn't this hard for you? I'm fine. It doesn't matter if they're family. Remember what I told you before? We've seen so many bad parts of the OSF. What my uncle did was unforgivable. I can't look the other way if I'm going to be able to stand proudly as a member of the OSF. Then let's think together on how we can go after the chairman's crimes. We basically need to find irrefutable evidence that my uncle and the others were connected to that research. Yeah, but that data isn't going to be something we can easily access. If there's any evidence left, it would need to be somewhere secret. Oh, like the old OSF hospital. That seems possible. There are others there, so maybe they think nobody would go investigate it. Let's check it out together. You'll come too? I'm happy to hear you say that, but... Come on. I said I'd help you any way I could. Thanks. Let's go together then. Someone's being attacked by others. Could it be a researcher? We can worry about that later. We need to save her first. You're right. Let's hurry. There's too many of them! Defeating them would be hard enough. But I'm worried I'm going to hurt her trying to protect her. What are we going to do? Can you create a wall of fire around her to keep the others away? If I do that, the woman would get burned too. Keep the intensity down and have it pointing towards the outside. That should keep her safe in the center. On paper, sure. But my power is hard to control. I'm not sure I can do it. But if we don't do something, watch out! Help me! Please! I don't want to die! You can do it. I just need you to hold it for a short time while I draw the others away. Okay, I'll try. Take care of these guys. Did it work? Right. Now's my chance. Are you all right? Come this way. Th thank you. I thought I was dead. Can you still fight? Yeah, I'm still good. Now to unleash everything I have. That's all of them. Yeah. Thank goodness you came up with that fire idea. Sorry I put you on the spot, but I couldn't have protected her without you. Oh, right. Where's the woman we saved? Um, first, let me thank you for saving me. Please. We only did our jobs as members of the OSF. 
So you're with the OSF like I thought. Why did you come here? Was it to arrest me? No, we mean you no harm. Wait, are you Yuito Sumaragi, the traitor? I guess that means you're not with the government. Okay, I'll trust you. Either way, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get out of here on my own. Can we ask what you came here to do? Are you a researcher here? Yes, I've personally conducted many inhumane experiments here. But I just couldn't go on with it anymore. Doing those terrible things to innocent people. The guilt kept me awake at night. Then I saw that broadcast and thought it was my chance to atone for what I did. Do you mean the video of Kaito we sent out from Arahabaki? You did that? Then I need to thank you again. That broadcast helped me make up my mind. I need to reveal the truth and have everyone, including myself, receive the proper punishment we deserve. And it seems like we are here for the same reasons. What do you mean? We came here looking for evidence against the people running the hospital. We thought there must be some here. I see. Then I guess we're both lucky. I just retrieved some data from a locked terminal in the back. It lists who was directing the research and for what reasons. It even has signatures with their names. If we can make these public, even the higher-ups won't be able to make excuses. That means we'll achieve our objective if we safely escort her back to the city. Yeah. I can't believe you snuck in here by yourself, when the place is crawling with others. There's a passageway just for the researchers, to avoid the others. It was blocked halfway through, so I had no choice. I was really scared. Well, you're safe now. We'll protect you. I can make my own way back from here. Thank you for escorting me this far. It was our pleasure. I feel so relieved to learn there was someone in that hospital with a conscience. And you both gave me hope. A chance to right my mistakes. How do you plan to release the information you found? I plan to take it to the press first, but I'm not sure if there's any organization that's not in bed with the government. If there's not, then I'll think of something else. Okay, good luck. Yes, thank you. You look relieved. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to understand what Gemma said the other day. You mean about a reason to fight? Uh-huh, but maybe fighting isn't the only thing I want to do. I thought my pyrokinesis was only good for burning my enemies. But now I see I can use it to protect someone, too. I feel like there's something there. I mean, I'm still working it out, so I'll have to give it some more thought. I'm glad you seem to be onto something. I hope my idea helped. Yeah, it really helped. Thanks. Well, let's head back to the hideout. Got a minute? What is it? Did something happen? I had Wataru go through the list of retired soldiers after we talked about your friend. I told him he was missing since I thought that was important. I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. Nobody's trying to hide that. So, did you find out anything? I haven't looked yet. I thought you might be able to notice something if we looked at it together. I'm sending the data to you now. This lists the present status of retired OSF members. I told him to only look at members who retired this past spring. So I'm pretty sure your friend is on here. Oh, I found him. Masaki Fujikawa. There's even details on his living situation. Why is the OSF tracking retired members so thoroughly? Wait. What? What's wrong? This is ridiculous. Look here. Let's see. Shortly after entering the OSF hospital, Masaki Fujikawa died? No. I don't buy it. 
If he died in the hospital, his family would have been notified. Something doesn't add up. You're right. There are too many here that are listed as dying in the hospital, and all of them in such short periods. No matter how supposedly damaged these retired soldiers are, they can't all need hospitalization that badly. Hey guys, so I dug a little deeper on that retirement list you're talking about. Seems pretty clear to me these are doctored. Publicly, they all died in the hospital. However, there's no record of their bodies being moved. There's a chance they're still alive in there. Really? I can't say for sure, but they went through the trouble of falsifying these records. Which means there's a high chance the hospital is involved in something unsavory. Are they being used in human experiments? Many retired soldiers don't have families. It's a horrible thing to say, but nobody's asking questions if they turn up missing. I'd like to say it's only a guess, but going by the OSF hospital's previous track record? Then we should get on this now. If they're being used in human experiments, we need to save them right away. Data. Huh. The data lists them being admitted to the new OSF hospital building. But maybe they were moved to the old building for experimentation. That's possible, but there's actually something else suspicious I found. I was tracking the vehicles going to and from the OSF hospital to see what they're up to. And I found a strange vehicle that would head from the hospital to Ceyron once in a while. There's actually one out now. I can't imagine they'd be making deals with Ceyron right now. What are they doing? I don't know, but they could be transferring the patients to some facility we're not aware of. We should start by tracking down that vehicle, since that's our only lead. They need to cross the river if they're heading to Seiron. We should be able to find it if we head to Mizuhagawa. I'll see if I can find more info on it. Thank you for helping me find Masaki. Let's find him soon. It's the vehicle Wataru was talking about. What is it doing stopped there? They're unloading something. They look like garbage bags. I don't see any patience. So it was a garbage truck? Does that mean Wataru's information was wrong? No. They'd be taking trash to the garbage facility. So what are they? Let's check their contents after they leave. I'm getting a bad feeling. Yeah. It's targeting that bag. But why? It's what I feared. No! Stay away from that! Gemma! Damn it! I guess we're doing this! Gemma, I'm sorry. Seems like I jumped to the wrong conclusion. I misidentified the cargo. I never thought they'd be carrying human brains in the waste disposal vehicle. Then those bags are... Damn it! It was too late. Masaki's already... Not just him. They treated all these people like they were trash. They fought for decades, risking their lives to fight for humanity. None of them deserve to end like this. <sighs> I'm sorry. I lost my cool for a moment. Anybody would if they found out their friend was treated this way. I'd like to bury the ones who didn't get eaten by the other. Do you mind waiting here? I'll help. Let's give them a proper burial. Thank you. You too, Wataru. I appreciate your help. I'll have to tell Masaki's younger brother later. I don't mean to overstep, but... Would it be okay if I went with you? I'd appreciate that. You must be Gemma. Yes. There's something I need to tell you about Masaki. I'm sorry, but your brother has died. What? Are you certain? Yes. I can't share the details with you as it's classified. But he passed away in the hospital and was buried in a secret location. Oh. I'm sad to hear that. I'm sorry. If I'd only found him sooner... It's okay. Please allow me to apologize as well for calling you cold. Huh? 
I actually received a message from my brother after I spoke to you, saying he had to be taken into the hospital. He told me not to worry about him and that he might not be able to contact me for a while. He also shared his true feelings. Let me send you his message. He... My brother was thankful to you for your tough love, for trying to help him move on from the OSF. After everything we've been through together, I don't have to talk to him to know what he's thinking. Gimma was always there for me, awkward and earnest. Saki. It was my misunderstanding. My brother's memories of you were always there helping him. My brother wrote that he was ready to build a new life, free from the past, once he's discharged from the hospital. Unfortunately, that never happened. But he never would have had that hope if it wasn't for you. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad I was able to meet you today. Goodbye. <sighs> Gemma? You knew what I was trying to do. Your brains weren't connected. But your hearts were. Masaki. Is he crying? <laughs> Sorry. We should go back to the hideout. Okay. Everyone, Major General Fubuki is up. Seems like he's all fine. Says he's ready to talk. 